two years ago, magic vanished from the world of Urida. Monuments fell, academies crumbled, and thousands died, all quick as a candle snuffed out by the wind. Fittingly, this event would come to be known as the Darkening. In the aftermath, fate brought four adventurers together. Inquisitive Owlin, Wily Fox, Laidbag Zothkug, and Plucky Jebediah each have their own reasons for questing, but their goals are the same. Discover where the magic went, and bring it back if they can. They found their first clues early, in an abandoned Dirtfolk way station overrun by fauna. In retracing his grandfather's steps, Jebediah discovered his corpse, and with it, the strange handgun through which Grandpa Cole focused his magic. Stranger still, in a world bereft of magic, that weapon seemed somewhat functional. A strange moss reacted to Zothkug's touch, perhaps triggered by the severed connection to his god Kelnor, transforming itself into a vine whose leaves Zothkug was able to channel into a semblance of his former divine power. Along with the Myconid Ya, yeah, our four heroes journeyed deeper into the web of Dirtfolk tunnels, where they discovered several hidden rooms containing trap doors, and beneath those trap doors, currents of magic rippling through the ground itself, held in by some strange artificer's construction. This is also where they met Circles, an addict way far gone on a new drug called Sacrium that caused wild magic surges all around him. Naturally, the crew sampled some of the drug with interesting effects. They ventured next to the town of Red Hill, hoping to find a bed for the night and stock up on some traveling supplies. They got more than they bargained for as Jebediah went into the bank and heard from the smooth-talking salesman about a new currency called Wingle Digits, a product of the Bright World Company. According to the salesman, you can use these Wingle Digits with special gadgets from the Bright World Company to reproduce magic. Overexcited about the opportunity, Jeb stole an entire case of them, and the party were chased out of town with nothing but their new knowledge that someone was mining, refining, and selling magic. These suspicions were confirmed when, through a hidden access way, our four heroes found themselves falling a mile straight down into the Underdark. There, some friendly flumps led the party to a mining compound operated by the Bright World Company. The raw sacrium was being mined from the ceiling, as the operation hollowed out a vertical mile of the Underdark. By disguising themselves as employees of the Bright World Company, Zothkug, Owlin, Jebediah, and Fox, with Ya hiding in his hood, were able to observe the refining process for the Sacrium and watch it being turned into new Wingle Digits, which left the compound on massive carts to who knows where. The disappearance of Ya caused the party to separate. Zothkug and Owlin went to find the young plant creature, while Fox and Jebediah went back into the compound at night in search of more information. Both adventurers became somewhat more involved than expected. Zothkug and Owlin came to the aid of the dragon Vokaru, trapped by the Darkening in his human form, and earning for themselves a favor for their service. Fox and Jebediah met Vondal Frostbeard, who was investigating the Bright World Company on behalf of Setonia, avatar of the nature god, Kotix. In assisting Vondal, they learned much about the operations of the Bright World Company, including the fact that this was only one of many dig sites, as well as discovering that Setonia was alive, weak, and in hiding. The status of the other three avatars remains unknown. Unfortunately, in learning all this, Fox and Jeb were discovered and determined that the party needed to flee Dig Site 6. In a harrowing escape, the group reunited to steal a cart laden with Wingle Digits and flee north towards Tumbleweb. After putting their heads together and going over all the information they'd collected so far, the team determined to visit this dark site, the center point of all the Bright World Mines, where they suspect something nefarious is happening.